previously. Should we... Should we get a recap? Because I've never played one before, so maybe we should... Probably for the best, right? Okay. Oh, boom! I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Huh. My company is in charge of negotiations for the takeover of this factory. I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. There is a, an heir, Miss Walker. Where can I reach him? Hans Vorlberg is somewhere in Siberia. Ah, so that's why it's called Siberia? Allow me to introduce myself. I am model XC2000. My common name is Austin. She went looking for someone? You said you were a train engineer? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted update. I wanted results. Kate, please! Olivia, tell me what's going on. I'm well aware that this trip has taken me far from New York and far from the Kate you once knew. Whoa. Are you leaving us, Kate Walker? And you know what surprises me the most? I don't miss it. Kate so that's where one ended? Us, Kate Walker. I promise, Hans Varberg. What news have you got? Kate Walker's gone. Far away. Into another world. <laughs> it was really a beautiful voyage. Now, it is time to say goodbye. Oscar! I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. Whoa! She ain't gonna be coming back. And then three is the one that people don't like, right? Three months ago, nomads found her dying in northern Siberia. Born in New York in the United States. Walker. Kate Walker. She's very quickly going to become a problem. Kate Walker will always represent a problem for us, and also for our cause. How did I end up here? Wow. The Yukos migrate with our snow ostriches to the sacred lands. The creatures seem so cool. The Justice Department is looking for you, you know. I'm not going back to New York with you. Doop, doop. It's a long journey, a very special journey. I have no idea what's going on. What? So she has a robot friend? I'm so lost, yeah. <laughs> this explains nothing. <laughs> Kate's held prisoner in the mine by the militia. Caught up by her past, she is preparing for a new adventure. Okay, so wait. How did she end up in Siberia? She went looking for an heir to a company. She was much happier, so she left her old life behind. And then the military showed up and they want to drag her back. The lady that died had a twin brother, Hans, who is now the legal owner of the factory, despite not having been seen in years. Okay, so Kate needs to find Hans in the first game. We got that. Oh, as a child, Hans suffered from head injury and afterward became fixated on the idea that he could find and ride a live mammoth. Interesting. Kate investigates and discovers the train, operated by an exceedingly polite humanoid automaton named Oscar. After winning Oscar's trust, she sets off with him across Europe to find Hans. Kate becomes caught up in a plot to abduct retired opera singer Helena Romanski. It's nothing to do with Hans, okay? So there's a whole sub-story there. Hans signs off the on the factory's acquisition immediately and without argument. On her way back home, Kate discovers that in her absence, her fiancé, Dan, has had an affair with her best friend, Olivia! Oh my god. She decides to have Oscar bring her back to Hans so that she can learn from him and maybe find the legendary mammoths of Spiria. Oh, so she does her job, comes back, and then finds out that her fiancé cheated on her, and then she's like, man, this sucks. I'm just gonna leave the world behind. So then she joins Hans to hunt mammoths. Or not hunt, but chase like find them that's the first game okay so far so good 
So then for the second game, she becomes Hans's apprentice. She never returned the papers for the acquisition of the factory, so she is now wanted in the United States for fraud. So she never finished her job officially, so they thought she just escaped with the papers. The United States of America is hunting her. <laughs> hunting Kate. Uh, and then they want to leave Russia at the very end of 3. Kate bribes the customs officer to let them pass, but the Russian military is in pursuit. Kate and Oscar remain behind to allow the other people to escape. So, what we saw at the very end of the recap is Kate being taken away by the military. And actually, you didn't know what happened to her at the end of 3. And then here in this game, you find out what happened to her. I hope you guys are up to speed, yeah. I'm kinda- I, I got it now. I think I'm good. I think I know enough. Wagen, Musician District. Spring 1937. A young woman runs through the streets of Wagen. I'm just gonna say it like half Dutch. Wagen. The capital of a small Central European country. Ah, yeah, so close enough. Her name is Dana... Dana, I mean, you say this in Dutch now as well, Dana Rose, <laughs> as she must arrive on time for a very important event. Okay, so Dana is a new, a new character, I think. Oh, I'm so excited. Finally, finally fucking playing a Siberia game, finally. <laughs> oh, yes! Ah, here we go. Pretty. Pretty houses. Cafe. That's so pretty. So, so the Siberia games are like steampunk-ish. Right? Because it's like robots working the trams and stuff. Oscar was a robot. Hmm. Steampunky. This is the new one, yeah. It came out a month ago. Is it still a bit on the loud side? I feel like it's still pretty loud. A little bit. I'll change it when I see an opening. Look at the blue flowers on the little veranda there. A little balcony. Backermeister. Bakkerei! It must be like... Maybe Austrian. For Kier's Batrieve. She's so cute. Oh, hello. Click to move. Oh. I need to hurry. Paul oh. Beckman said she will be waiting for me on the square at the top of the main street. Okay. One sec, girl. We need to fix our audio problem. This is like classic point and click. Big day today. Hey, Dana? Really? Afraid so, Herr Baumgartner. Wait, wait, wait. Can you go to him? Oh, no, she's she's off on her own. I guess I'm going this way. The engine reminds me of, um... What's that game called again? Sound of Horror? Double click to accelerate your move. Look. Looks like everyone left in a hurry. Oh my goodness, they must all be waiting for me on the square. Oh. Song of Horror, yeah. It's like Unreal Engine or something. Oh, she's sprinting! She's going for it! <laughs> Secondary objectives. Throughout the adventure, you will sometimes be given secondary objectives. There's no obligation for you to accomplish these objectives, but if you do, they will lead you to interesting additional content and background information. Beware that active secondary objectives will be cancelled if you progress through the story. Okay. Hmm. 
not bad at all. I wonder if Papa would sell it in his shop, though. Papa. <laughs> so this is settings. What's this? What are these icons? Objectives. Reach the main square. Investigate the ghetto. Oh, wow. Look at these entries. That's so pretty. I would, I would love to actually be able to keep a diary like that. I always wonder how people do that. <laughs> Mine just look like, well, here's like a little bit of stuff I wrote and then nothing else. I want to like put little stickers on it and everything. Had to be an important event for me to begin this diary. So the big day is here. I've been chosen among all the students at the music academy to play the swan song, the hymn of Wagen on the main square. Didn't sleep last night, feeling terrified. Can't even bring myself to play that beautiful melody again before leaving. What does it matter anyway? My fate will be played out later today at 12.15 precise. There's always a big crowd on the square for the occasion. Wait, is this 8.30 a.m., 10 a.m.? Oh, so it just continues. Got butterflies. Didn't eat a thing for breakfast, even though mother made her delicious chocolate and apricot sachertorte cake that usually that I usually adore. My parents won't be coming to see me. They can't leave the shop on a day like today. It's the best day of spring for retailers. And anyway, perhaps it is better this way. I could not bear being disgraced in front of them should I fail to make the grade. Oh, this, I'm getting anxious for her. Jesus. Mr. and Mrs. Zimmer have arrived. They come more and more often these days. It's always for business, though. Father keeps saying to whoever will listen that there is no such thing as too much business in times like these. While the men get down to dealing in the study, Mr. Zimmer is an art dealer. Mrs. Zimmer helps mother in the shop. Frau Beckmann is expecting me. She's the rectoress, rectoress of the academy. Better stop writing. Don't forget the notification. Kiss parents. Jump in the first tram. Now off you go, Dana. I love these entries. This is so nice. Okay. I have the hymn score on me and a convocation notice. Observing objects from every angle will give you useful information. Right click to rotate. Okay. Okay. Einladung zum Jahreskonzert. So, yearly concert. Does it have a translation? My convocation notice from the Music Academy. I have to give it to Frau Beckmann once I arrive at the square. Frau Beckmann. I love it. This is the hymn. Cool. So, where is this ghetto? The secondary objective that they want me to investigate. How do we do that? Is it like off to the side? Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get robbed. Goodness! A rock? Oh no! Oh, no. Vandals. Are you all right? None for the worse for wear. Holy shit. What worries me is it's getting worse every day. That's awful. That's what my father says. Never mind, eh? <laughs> Always look on the bright side. At least it's prompted me to make some repairs that I've been putting off. Do you Dude. know who did this? I've got a good idea, yes. Good for nothing hoodlums. God, I see repairing that would cost so much money. They only feel big and strong when they're together, though. Right. But people like that can be dangerous when they're driven by an ideal. Especially sure. when it's based on hate and the rejection of other cultures. And they hold no love for Vagarans, that's for sure. Vagarans? Sorry to hear that. How do I choose? Ah, I drag. I'm sorry to hear it. Oh, never mind. We must all make do with our lot in life, huh? I'm sure I'll get by. Besides, what choice is there? Hmm? Ah, enough talk of nastiness. 
Ah. I see. She's so cute. A music case. Would you be the lucky young lady oh. who's to enchant our ears this year? I am. Um, and I should go. It's nearly time. Where is well, this music case? Let me <gasps> congratulate She's got cute little boots. Music is one of the few pleasures left to us nowadays. That'll be great so, cosplay. Thank you, Fraulein. Thank you for spreading it around. Would you like to do me the honor of writing something in the cement before you go? I'll... I'll add the date like they do in Hollywood. <laughs> it's all the rage these days, you know. Well, I... Unless you're worried, it would make you late. Oh, I don't want to be late. Draw my initials, a swan. Ooh, a swan. All right, I will. Here you go. I mean, this is an opportunity you, ah, you can lovely. pass up on. The great white swan of Wagen. That's very pretty. The immortal symbol it's of our beautiful town. A very fine inscription indeed. And one that will no doubt it's gonna be, be off here for forever. many years to come. Whatever may become of us now. Thank you, mein Herr. I really should go mein now Herr. if I don't want to be late at the Music Academy. I'll be listening from here. Thank no. you. Goodbye. Was that the... Do you think that was the extra objective? No. Run! You gotta hurry! Oh, she quick? She's quick when she wants to be. Who's this? Can you talk to her? No? Well, I don't see anything else. Do you guys know if there's like... Oh. The ghetto. Mama and Papa often talk about it when they think I'm not listening. They say that more and more in Bulgarians are being forced to live here. Anyway, I'd better not hang around or I'll end up being late at the square. It's that poster there. Did you see that? Can we look at that? I don't think I can. But I think I did it. I got an achievement for it, so... Is it that late already? Paul Beckman will kill me if one I girl run. Time. Go go go! Oh, oh! You can look around. Wow. Um, wait. Stop. I want to. I want to talk to these guys. What do you want? Scram! Fascists. Three across. The National Socialist Party of Ostertal. I think that's what Papa calls the brown shadow. Nothing. The brown shadow. <laughs> I'd better not hang around here. That does not sound threatening at all. That just sounds like skit marks in someone's underwear. The brown shadow. You never know who has it. <laughs> Anything here? Uh, that must no. be her. Good grief. What year is it in this game, I wonder? Because it's a fictional world, but it seems to have like some real world theming going on. Guten Tag, Frau Beckmann. Ah, oh, Fraulein Rose, there you are. A few minutes more, and you would have been late. Please excuse me, Frau Beckmann, but uh, I was delayed on the way. Oh, you weren't late at all. Notice? Are we gonna learn how to use our inventory? Ah, nineteen thirty-seven. Now, remember, performing at the annual spring concert is a great honor and rewards the best music academy student of the year. So it is imperative that you show yourself worthy. I will do my best, Frau Beckmann. I love how the she says it, ready. Frau Beckmann. Make this day yours, Dana Rose. Dana Rosa. 
God, you're the only one playing. That's terrifying. I would not be able to. I probably just wouldn't show up. <laughs> oh. I assumed it was violin for some reason, but this is very nice. It's like an organ. Those keys on the sides. Oh. You can change your rotation. Yeah, you told me that already. Get the piano ready. Oh god! I have to activate the piano first. Uh huh. There's a mechanism on the side of it. Oh god, now I'm getting like stage fright from this. Once I've activated the piano, everything will be ready to go. Is it here? Oh, okay, so it's a circle when you can move things. Select it and maintain left click while moving your mouse. Okay. Everything's ready. It's very All intuitive so far. Is arrange my sheet music and begin. Okay. What does this machine sound like? Begin! Oh, it's just a piano. <gasps> Is there an orchestra? Oh, just one cello, cello player. That's a very difficult song. <laughs> oh, there's more. Ah, that's cool. Ah, oh, beautiful environments. She good. Oh, what is that? That is massive. Is it a bird? Whoa! That is so awesome! <laughs> wow! That's so cool! It's the swans, yeah. It feels like she's playing one of those mini games where it's like you have to play correctly or else all the mechanics don't start up properly. So only someone who plays it perfectly can actually do it. That's a weird clock. Oh. Iron Taiga. Salt mine. Oh! I think this is our lady, uh, Kate. I think this is where Kate is being held.
Did it say 2004? That's a cool haircut. I like that. Oh, it looks like it's so cold there. Hi. You have great lips, though, despite the cold. Consult your diary to get a reminder of previous events. Yeah. Wait, that's Kate? Kate got this haircut? Excuse me? Oh no, seeking Kate, Kate Walker. <laughs> I, I almost can't unsay Cake Walker now. <laughs> the search for the ultimate dumpy. Dear Mrs. Foster, we have not had the pleasure of meeting. My name is Nick Cantin, a private detective. Oh yeah, there she is, missing person. A few years back, I was asked by the law firm Marston and Larmont to find Miss Kate Walker and bring her back to the United States. As you will know, she's wanted by the police for alleged misappropriation of funds. Oh, there he is, that's Nick. The pursuit of your friend has been hectic, to say the least. Indeed, I fear it has affected my mental health. I ended up being the victim of a serious accident and now find myself in the Valsambor Clinic, where I am convalescing. This is where I pars where the parcel you sent to Kate Walker landed up. Your address was written on the back of the envelope. If I am given to believe that Miss Walker was among your closest friends, which is why I am writing to you, I should explain that I am no longer mandated by anyone to find the young lady. However, I must admit I am still keen, keen, to carry on with my mission. My sole objective being to try to warn Miss Walker about all the trouble she keeps getting herself into and, if possible, to persuade her to come home. Where are you, Miss Walker? Nevertheless, I must admit that as I write this letter, I have no idea of her whereabouts, especially since my long convalescence has meant that I have lost track of recent events. I'd like to pick up my investigation as soon as possible to find your friend and hand her your letter. Okay. Dear Mrs. Foster, I hope this letter finds you well. I am pleased to inform you that I have managed to locate the Yukol nomads. They were escorting Miss Walker the last time I met her. They told me that despite the sacrifice of Oscar to protect her, she was taken prisoner by a danger dangerous local fascist militia. After almost a year of laborious investigation, this trail has allowed me to localize Miss Walker with near certitude. She's detained in a salt mine. This mine is in reality a labor camp owned by a consortium of mobsters and neo-Nazis in search of vestiges of past grandeur of their nation. Olga. Dr. Olga. I have just arrived in the region. As I expected, the mine guards ref refused to hand Miss Walker over to me. They even pushed back my attempts to bribe them. A bit on the light side, though, I must admit, due to my deplorable finances. The guards nonetheless assured me that she was well. For some reason, they burst out laughing on mentioning her close relationship with her cellmate and the way in which the two young women protected each other. In return for the small amount of cash I could muster up, the guards promised me they would give the parcel to Miss Walker. In the meantime, until I find a way to getting her out of this hornet's nest, I have no other choice but to believe them. Hmm. Wait, so who are we playing as now then? If we're if this journal belongs to someone looking for Kate. Look at that butt. Um Pushkin's poem. In the depth of the mines, keep your proud patience in the depth of the mines. Your sorrowful labor and great ambitions of your thoughts will not be wasted. Hope, the faithful sister of misery, will wake up your courage and amusement. In the dark underground, the desire time will come. Love and friendship will come to you through the somber gates as my free voice reaches you in your miserable holes. Heavy locks will fall down, prisons will crash, and freedom will greet you gladly at the door. Brothers will give you the sword. Pushkin. Guitar pick. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Introspection. God, another day of hard labor. It is Kate. What do you do now, Kate? Jeez, can't believe it's been almost a year since the militia sent me here. Gotta get out, move on. Whatever that might be. I can't believe the makeover they How gave though? her. Holy shit. No news from outside. Nothing. Does anyone even know I'm here? For Christ's sake, someone must be looking for me, mustn't they? Mustn't they? She looked, she used to look like this. So she really had like that Lara Croft look going. And I guess they just made her a lot tougher now, which is awesome. I think she looks so much cooler now. <laughs> but yeah, she, they definitely, and look at that ass. She's looking good. Uh, how do I read this? The color assigned to your team must be visible on you at all times. Salt extraction quota every day. Extraction of ivory and patriotic relics must be reported to staff members. Respect and obey your section manager. Meals and rest are privileges, not entitlements. Ooh. Each cell is granted the privilege of five liters of water a day. That's quite a lot. Two and a half liters a person. So at least they're getting their fluids. Sleep okay? Like a bear. Yeah, I heard. Better get ready, Katusha. Katusha. Mm, I feel like I've been run over by a tank. You okay? Sure. Digging in a salt mine 12 hours a day in the hope of finding a fragment of ivory? Couldn't be better. Don't let it get to you. Maybe I'm a fool, Kate. Maybe I should have listened to my folks. If I had stayed in line in the National Choir like a good little pawn instead of forming an anti-establishment punk group, I would not be here now. <laughs> I'm glad I've got you, though. Listen, Katusha. We're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, right. If you say so. They both look so badass. <laughs> Today's the day we're supposed to take over from Team Orange in Gallery C, right? Don't remind me. They say it's really tough. Isolated with no rescue party on hand. Oh god. Which is crazy because it's the worst gallery for cavens. Speaking of caves, uh very random thought, but I had this dinner, the fancy dinner I had that I talked to you guys about. Uh at the very end of it, we could cheat we could choose cho we could cheese. We could choose between a cheese board and a sweets board basically. Um and I chose the cheese board, obviously. But there was like a whole like rack of cheeses I could choose from. And one of the cheeses I had was a French blue cheese that was special because it was actually aged in the local caves that the cheese was like the milk was gotten from. And it was I can't it was the best blue cheese I've ever had. It was like melting on the tongue and it was so stinky. I I feel so, I'm so happy that I got to eat French blue cheese that was aged in literal caves. So awesome. The ultimate cheese we experience. We should get going, Katusha. I mean, Stinky. what if the guard catches us slacking off when we should be ready? Who, Simona? She's no altar girl, but she's not the worst around here. True. But I will be ready in time to leave. I just want to get all the rest I can. Come on, Katusha. Better get ready. Sure. Okay. 
five minutes, no more. Da? Da. <laughs> so she ended up getting picked up by someone else. And the American government never actually got their hands on her. Oh, I thought I could look at that. Da. Freshen up. That water must be so cold. How does that not freeze on your face? Poor girl. Better not forget your good luck charm. Don't think I've ever seen you without it. That's all I got left. What is it? Necklace? Oscar's heart. Oh. There's all Oscar's data inside. It's like his use. lucky enough to steal it from the militia soldier who picked it up at the frontier between Baraner and the Yakast. I just need to find a compatible body for it. That is if I ever get out of here. That's cool. She's carrying Oscar's heart with her. What's that? Little bag. Glad you're here. Let's stay close, Katusha, okay? Team Blue! Hey, you've got mail. Did I actually get it's mail? For you, Americanska. Americanska. Oh, and right five minutes to open it before we move out to Americanska. I'm immediately worried that she's gonna die. The other girl. Oh, the swan. This mel it belonged to my oh. mother. I used to play with it when I was a kid. I wanted to turn it. A ticket? Catherine Walker. 2005? Oh no, 2005. Plane ticket to New York. Anything else? Olivia Foster, New York. What could she have sent me given our dispute after my leaving with Hans? How did she find you? Strange. What? August 23rd, 2003. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time for you to make preparations to return to New York. Your mother, Sarah Walker, passed away oh, last no. night at Mount Sinai Hospital. She had been doing poorly for several months and her death was no doubt a release. The funeral will take place Thursday, next week. We push back the ceremony so you can be with oh us. Oh my god. If I'm not mistaken, returning to the United States means you run the risk of having to answer to the law. Sometimes it's better to pay your debts to society instead of being forever on the run. And for once, just put aside those senseless, adventurous pretensions of yours. They have no idea she's already doing They've her already time. cost you your friends and family. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. God. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. I've enclosed your mother's pendant. According to her, you used to love the mystery of its melody. I promised her I would send it to you. 
Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. Oh, it's Olivia. tiny. 212-359-1519. What a heavy game. This is much more serious than I thought. Also really well written, but... So, is our goal to, like, escape so we can attend well to our mother's done, funeral? Dear. I'm so proud of your concert on the square at the Academy of Music. We shall find a pretty frame for your diploma. Thank you, Mother. Once you've finished your studies at the Academy of Music next year, you'll be able to start higher education at the Paris Conservatory. Ho ho! Won't she, Anton? Of course. Of course. Then, my darling, you'll become a great concert pianist. You make us so proud, doesn't she, Anton? Uh, of course. <laughs> of course! So proud. Can't wait. See the world. I can't wait to see the Paris Conservatory, even though I'll miss you both terribly. And it's perhaps not such a bad idea for you to move away from Wagen. Times are hard at the moment for people like us. <coughs> I do worry about your health still. Thankfully, Herr Gustav agreed to take you on at the Mountain Refuge this summer. Oh, yes. The mountain air will do you the a mountain world of air. good, my dear. By the way, did you write to Herr Gustav to thank him? Oh, uh, well, I was very busy rehearsing the concert, you know. The gentleman is offering you a job, Dana. Thanking him is the very least you can do. <sighs> yes, Mother, I'll do it right away. Okay. My dear Anton, I have received the paintings. Given their quality, I can only congratulate you on getting them at such a good price. I can already tell that they will find a buyer amongst my American clientele and we will get a return on our small investment very shortly. On a more personal note, I wanted to thank you and your lovely Lena for the message of support included with your package. The doctors seem optimistic about Miriam's recovery. They think she should be back on her feet this summer. With each passing day, I am ever more amazed that such a strong woman did me the honor of becoming my wife. Oh, so she is in bad health too. However, I will not hide from you that we are both terribly downcast. Despite Miriam's medical history, that charlatan of an obstetri obstetrician had left us with serious hopes that this unexpected pregnancy would turn out well. Although it was really hard for us to take such a final decision, we decided not to run the risk of being met with further disappointment in the future. This concerns Miriam's physical health and, it must be said, the mental health of us both. I imagine that all there is left for us to do is to learn to live with the idea that we will grow old alone, Miriam and I, without any children. In such circumstances, my dear friend, you will understand that every day God gives us, we wonder about the expediency of remaining here in Ostertal, while the sound of the brown shadows boots can be heard more and more in our streets. Miriam and I would perhaps be safer on the other side of the Atlantic where, as you know, I have the benefit of strong professional relationships as, and some well-placed friends with the New York art community. In any case, please know that your and Lena's supports went straight to our hearts. This further proof of the unwavering loyalty that binds our two households has been the only ray of sunshine for us in this particularly somber time of our relationship. I thank you both again for this renewed expression of our honest friendship. Yours truly, Adam. What a nice letter. I ought to put these away before I lose them. I'm pretty sure I know this piece by heart now anyway. Impressive. Uh, how do you... Oh, The Hymn of Wagen. My favorite concerto. How do we put it away? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I could use it to write my letter to Herr Gustav. This is observe, but how do we... How do we take it? Oh, that was added automatically. Okay, so it adds things that I need. It's stuck. Papa really ought to tidy up. Hmm. Got a piece of paper there? 
Dana, darling, I hope you're not seriously thinking of writing a letter to your future employer with that old pencil. I knew it. Okay. The we diploma Frau Beckmann Probably gave me after it my ink. concert on the musical square. Thank goodness she didn't mention I almost arrived late. Almost is not arriving late, though. We were just on time. You can't really scrutinize someone for almost being late. Herr Gustav, my future employer. Thanks to this summer job, I'll be able to help Papa pay for another year of schooling at the music academy. Fräulein Rosa, I am pleased to announce that I have selected your application for the summer's seasonal job at the refuge I am in charge of. Your contract will begin on Monday, 5th of July, and will end on 31 August. We expect this to be a busy period. Our refuge will be welcoming a group of scientists who have come to train in the mountain before they leave for an expedition to the east. Your daily duties will, remain, will mainly consist of serving at mealtimes and contributing towards maintaining the refuge. Since I read on your curriculum vitae that you are a student at the Academy of Music, I will also ask you to perform on the piano some evenings. In addition, you will be fed, housed, and laundered throughout the duration of your work. I am looking forward to your arrival and wish you an excellent end to the school year. Gustav Renner. Um, do we have another drawer we can open, maybe? Ugh. Hmm. Pretty. A painting. Wow. Excuse me, I am looking for a pencil. Uh, a pen, actually. I found a pencil. It's not good enough, apparently. Have you asked your father for his pen? Ah. Father, I need your pen. After I look at this painting. Wow. Papa? Could your pen be around here somewhere? Could be, I suppose. Four Alberg automatons. These machines are incredible. Made in France. Are you the happy owner of a Vorarlberg automaton? Remember that they are guaranteed for life. For any requests for a replacement, repair, or refund, please write to us at the address indicated on your warranty card. Located in Valadilen in the French Alps, Vorarlberg manufacturing are at the cutting edge when it comes to precision mechanics. Our state-of-the-art automatons are renowned throughout Europe and embody both the quality of our work and the respect we show our customers. We think all of our creations must have that extra little something that will make them unique, a genuine extra bit of soul. Wagen and us. Although we, Vorarlberg Manufacturing, pride ourselves on having a close relationship with all of our customers, we maintain an even stronger relationship with Wagen and its people. Why are we so close? During one of his travels, our visionary chief engineer, Hans Vorarlberg, discovered the Wagen that had been devastated by a notoriously terrible fire. Mr. Vorarlberg was moved by the situation, so he made our factories part of the effort to rebuild and me mechanize the city. Restoring its eternal beauty while propelling it into moder modernity thanks to the latest automatons from our workshops. Hmm. Okay, cool. These were all very interesting readings, but I should get back to writing the letter now, or Mama will get cross. Mama. Papa is so untidy. Oh, it's a pen. Papa's pen. Perfect. I love how she says Mama and Papa. Did I talk to him? Dana Puppet, I'm busy right now. Hello, Puppet. It feels so old school having the point where I want to walk. Dear Herr Gustav. Yeah. Or formal. Friendly. Dear Herr Gustav, I would like to thank you for... Here, you don't, 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 Dana, it's too dangerous. Oh my! What in the name of... Is there a message on that brick? Damn. Dana, darling? No, no. Give it to me, please. Oh my goodness. What is it? What does it say, father? It's nothing, Dana. Nothing but spite. Mm. Will they ever leave us in peace? 
Come on, Lena, my dear. Hey, come on. Look at me. Don't let it get you down. Huh? Or we'll both end up in Paris with Dana. That doesn't seem so bad to me. Why would anyone do that? Why take it out on us without reason? Piss off out of here, you filthy Vagarins. Horrible. Hmm. Oh, back to the salt mine. Whoa, ho, until dawn. I thought it said vegan for a minute. <laughs> Get out of here, you vegan. Vegan food's gotten so Kate. good. Come on. We need to get to work now. Her mom just died, dude. Give her a sec. Uh, you gotta do it, though. That's it. I'll get started working now. You push the cart closer and come dig next to me, okay? I'm very sorry, love. But we'll have all night long to cry. No. <laughs> Where's the cart? Add it. Oh. Could I, oh, don't, don't go. So this is new notes. Unfortunately, they refused again. It seems the militia prefer to pu punish Miss Walker for standing up for the Yoko nomads than to receive any money. As if that isn't bad enough, another bribe enabled me to get confirmation of what you and I feared most. Miss Walker apparently broke down on bearing, on learning about the death of her mother last year. The... The fact she missed the burial service really cut her up. Even her cellmate can do nothing to bring her out of her deep depression. I fear she will die of grief if we don't quickly find a way of getting her out of that unearthly place. I think the cart's at the back. Probably. It's probably the other way. You need to move the cart closer. Do you hear that? Um, look. All dented. <laughs> A fitting metaphor for all of us in here. My favorite pasta. <laughs> all dented. <laughs> Is there a brake on it? Brakes are on. <laughs> what a surprise. So you can be with us. That do it? Hold left click and move the cursor to progress. Like this? Or did I just hold it? You weren't there. God. If only the family knew. August twenty third, two thousand three. You missed this. You weren't you weren't there. You 
you didn't say goodbye. Well, how is she going to get out, though? She she died. Died. Get it out. Destroy that wall. You broke her heart to the there. The you deserted her. She died asking. Oh. Uh oh. Hey, watch out. Uh oh. 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 For a second, Sorry, I thought her friend safe. was hurt. Hey, look! Come on, let's go and see. Hell yeah, maybe it's a way out. Secret tunnel! <laughs> through the mountain! Through the salt mine! That could be our ticket out of here. Let's check it out. Oh my god. That is your ticket out of here. You can just run off and never come back. Go. I mean, what's the worst they could do? Put you back in prison? They can't shoot? Go for it. Oh, their hair is blue. Their team color is in their hair too. Didn't she used to ride a bike like that? Where did they come from? Must be something to do with the train. Wow, that's deep. I can't even see the bottom. Yeah. And it means the tunnel on the other side is cut off. Must be the way out. I can see the light at the end. How do we get across that? I'm sure there's a way. Climb the train there Follow on me. the right. I have an idea. Take direct control of your character. Oh, nice. Ah! So I can just point where they need to go. Wait, what's that back there? There's a whole train here. Wait, I should probably talk to her first. Wait, wait. Walk this way! You're not seriously gonna drive that old bike, right? If we build up enough speed, no. we should be able to use the height difference on the edge of the precipice as a takeoff ramp to get to the tunnel on the other side, and then get to the surface. That sure, bike looks 50 years old. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Back in the days with my band, I always used to repair our old van on tours. Okay, but wait a second. First, I want to take a closer look at these bodies and maybe figure out what happened here. They were shot in the back. I'm getting, um. Oh. What was it called again? House of Ashes. Looks vibe. like Second World War uniforms. They belong to the Brown Shadow, the fascists <laughs> who triggered the war before they herded up and massacred millions of innocent people. Can't take Brown Shadow seriously. Why would you call something Brown Shadow? <laughs> Full tank of gas. And it looks as if they were headed for the exit tunnel. It's like they were ready to head out. 
Looks like they were in a hurry, judging from their position. I wonder how a bunch of World War II fascist soldiers ended up here. Right. And who killed them just as they were about to ride out of here. One thing's for sure, though. We've got to give this motorbike a try. What? What are you saying? You mean you want to jump over the ravine? Exactly. But the keys aren't on the bodies. I checked. They must be somewhere inside the train. You go and find the keys while I take a look at this motor. Will do. You'll be okay? Don't worry, love. I'm sure this beauty and I, we're going to become best friends. They're so chill about it. I would have been like, oh my god, are we getting out of here? What? Okay. I don't have a key. Can you use the guitar pick? No. Oh, wait. I need to click on it. No, I don't think so. That doesn't work. Impossible. Impossible. What a pretty game. Hot damn. More bodies. Looks like they were shot dead while they were eating. Hmm. Okay. Did we check that? This carriage is more luxurious than the other ones. Maybe a dignitaries? Okay. If you get stuck, you can listen to a hint by using the question button. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like a hog. Okay. Walk forward, my dear. I need to inspect this carriage. Nope. This one. Another body. Great. What does he have? Inspection! Officer suicide note. Ooh. I will be nothing more than a sack of bones by the time you, whoever you are, read this letter. He was right. Every day I've learned to be ever faithful to the fatherland and carry out my duty in the name of our illustrious leader. I would not have wanted it any other way. As per my orders, we have managed to accomplish our mission of securing the train in the agreed place of refuge hidden away from enemy hands. Ah. However, due to a landslide, we are cut off from the exit tunnel, so we are condemned to remain here forever with the train so that High Command can one day retrieve the secrets it holds. Ooh. This is a blessing in disguise as the Red Army from the Eastern Front approaches, and we would most likely have been captured anyway. This way, at least, our secret is safe. The troops have become alarmingly disheartened, and so, to save them from betrayal and dishonor in their moment of folly, I have been forced to shoot them. Ah, so the captain shot everyone. For I have reason to believe that in their desperation, they were planning to try to escape on the motorbike and then run into the enemy to reveal the whereabouts of the train in return for their liberty. I have hidden the ignition key as a matter of form. It now remains for me to do as duty dictates in the name of our leader and our homeland, so that this treasure will remain hidden until High Command is in a posture to retrieve it. Major Christian Sutter. Wow, so no one ever so came back for it. this brown shadow officer shot his own men and then killed himself to make sure the train was never found by the Allies. Whatever it holds uh -huh. must be priceless. Strange, a hollow shape. There must have been something in it. Okay. Time to investigate. Major Sutel's last drink to give him courage? How does that still work? Excuse me? Shot what if he swallowed it? Awful. Oh. 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 He wore stripes. Must have been the brown shadow officer in charge of the train. Thought she was going to be like, he wore stripes. That is so 1945. That must be the shooter. Can I check the... Yeah. Let's search somewhere else. I don't think I can make any use of that. Okay. Can we look around the desk? Hmm. Do I have anything in my inventory? Do 
Yeah, no, I don't think anything that I have right now would fit the thing. Unless the swan fits, that would be a big surprise. Strange, a hollow shape. There must have been something in it. Okay, but we can't actually use anything right now. Major Sutel's last drink to give him courage? His hand? Oh. Oh. This we're playing the room right now, guys. Secret drawer. An emblem. Can I rotate it? Ho ho ho! The keys. Must be the motorbike key. Better give it to Katusha. Hell yeah. That was awesome. That was so cool. Our first little taste of a puzzle. Got him! Shh. I'm trying to escape here. I guess security is lax in the prison because they're like, they think the mine is a dead end anyway, so they're like, where are they gonna go? Damn. It hasn't been started for too long. But leave me to it and I'll see if I can get it going. If I can okay. just get it to kick start, we might be home free. I want to check out the train. What's the secret that they were guarding? Can I help? Anything I can do, we haven't got much time. No, I'm good. Why don't you look around? Maybe inside the train there's something that can help us once we get out of here. Okay, I'm on it. There was another key. Oh yeah. There was a lock here. They were all deceived, for another key was made. This is so fun. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Why is that so hard? Oh, I just need to keep circling. Ah, it's just like circles, not one big circle. Oops. Did I have to do something? Oh, I think I had to click multiple times. Yeah. Treasure? Art? Oh, that's the bike. I was like, I thought it was an animal growling hey, or something. Your chariot's waiting! Dude, we have to hey, go. What are you <gasps> Holy crap! Wow! This is worth a fortune! I can't believe it! This is gonna come in nicely when we're on the road, babe. She called me babe. <laughs> Have a look around. A masterpiece. Oh. The brown shadow anything. must have looted it during World War II. It must be priceless. Now I understand why the brown shadow wanted to hide the train so badly. There's a veritable fortune in loot here. A veritable? I was wondering if some of the... Yeah, didn't we see this one? Yeah, this is the one we saw in the workshop. I was just thinking if some of the... Some of the stuff we saw in the workshop earlier with Dana's dad would be in here. Oh, this is not looking good for the parents, though. Their shop must have gotten attacked and robbed. That's the thing that Dana had in her back, in like in her little pouch. Is it the Wachen Museum uh, music piece? Oh. 
Oh my god. Show. What? What is it? It's incredible. You gotta see this. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty well done. That's I like what she had on her. Of the rock face there. Is that what fascinates you? No, Kate. There! Look! It's right under your nose. That's like your grandma or something, I'm sure. Grandma Dana. It dates from 1937, apparently, but I can't make out the signature. Cola? Coba or something like that? Anyway, what's so fascinating about it? You mean you can't see? Take a closer look. Sorry, you'll have to be more specific, Katusha, because I still can't see. Look again, there. The girl. She's your spitting image. Well... You really think she looks like me? Come on, you gotta admit it's incredible, right? Either way, I suggest you put it away. We'd better get going. I wonder if they use the same game model, actually. Oh. I Very hate to pretty. think what became of the owners of all these stolen objects. Oh god, yeah. I don't- oh. Prepare for sadness. We saw that one as well, I think, in the shop. I think I looked at everything. I- I want to get out of here. I think we should go. I'm so come worried on, that the guards are gonna look at- come and like find you. us. It must be a sign. Hold it right there, girls! Ah! There she is! We should have just left when we had the chance. Please let us go! Alright. You've caught us. But take a look inside this carriage. The train is full of treasure. We can all escape with, with tons of it. Just, just look. Don't move. Get on the bike. <laughs> Go. Listen to me, Simona. You've always been good to us. So why can't we help each other now? We'll be stronger together. Together. Oh, unlikely alliance. Forget all about your precious attitude. Like this morning with your package, huh? <laughs> Thanks, but no, Americanska. I'd rather keep this treasure for myself. I could leave this rotten prison. Nobody will know. I could even say you tried to escape, which wouldn't be a lie. What Simona? It? She could don't. just shoot us and keep everything don't think for it herself. I just need a change of life. I think you uh -oh. can understand where I'm coming from. No! <laughs> no, I fucking knew it. Oh my god. Oh, I knew it. I was immediately like, oh my god, we have someone we love, so for us to leave the prison, we probably have to leave her too. I knew it, yeah. Oh, I was prepared. Check on your girl. Go. My sweet Katusha. Oh, I was shot in the stomach Kate. too. Poor Kate. Now you're on your own. With a train full of treasure. <laughs> it's gonna be alright. It'll be alright, Katusha. No. Not for me. Hush, Katusha. Listen. That girl in the picture? It would have been so cool to go looking for her together, wouldn't it? Oh. Nothing's changed. I'm still taking you with. No. You. You, you gotta go. You gotta go and find out before the guards yeah. come. There's no find way you can girl. get her out and right. fix her up or anything. Katie. I don't even... She must be miles away from anything. Remember me, Kate. I'll close my eyes now. Poor Kate. Oh. 
Do you want to take... Uh, I don't think she wants to take anything. I would take some of the treasure, for sure. You're gonna need some something to either bribe people or... Oh, I did that so well. Oh, we're just not gonna have to leave her there. Oh, she's looking at the body. Oh, oh God. Man. Hurry. Poor Katusha. She is so lucky that that bike is cutting through all that snow. <laughs> Such an old bike. I'm sure it's gonna break down at some point. I wonder if they would find her quickly. Or if the tracks get like snowed over. Now she's going to be eaten by a bear. Game over. Oh, it's the pendant is in the inside of the cap. So now she knows it has to be related. Damn, look at her go. Oh, she took the side thing off. Smart. Damn, what an opening! Whew! There's so much story happening so far. Hungary. Serbia. So she traveled all the way to Wagen? Wow. That's it. The next year. She still has the same bike? Kasthoff. Miss Walker? Miss Walker? Like guest house. I think. Kinda. Ah, oh, there you are. Whoa! Now she looks like that? I like the short hair though. Sorry, I was miles away. Please excuse me, Frau Wagner. I was trying to decipher this. Is everything okay? I found these for you. They might help you find that Müller shop you asked about. Thank you, Frau Wagner. Thank you so much. Oh. You're very welcome, dear. I'll be at the reception desk if you need anything else. She's going to find a, a robot for the heart, for sure, because we're in Wagen. She still got that booty. Let's check the diary. Um, okay, so this is probably picking up from... Yeah. It is with great pleasure that I am able to inform you that Miss Walker has escaped from the mine. Sadly, however, according to the guards, her cellmate did not survive the breakout. Oh, that makes one more death for the fugitive to mourn. 
She apparently headed west towards an unknown destination. Maybe she's headed for an airport? Who knows? The plane ticket that you sent with the letter might have had the desired effect. After all, there aren't any more castles in the sky for Kate Walker to go searching for, are there? Thanks for the information in your last letter. It should allow me to get back on track. If Miss Walker was last seen in Wagen, then Wagen is where I'm headed. So, oh yeah, Nick is... So we might find him here. Okay, I can hardly believe I've been searching high and low for almost a year now from east to central Europe to pick up Miss Walker's trail. She seemed to have kept away from the main highways and cities, but there have been a number of sightings from country people and misfits. They mostly speak of a mysterious foreigner, a few words. Apparently, her only goal is to make her way westward, crisscrossing minor roads on her old motorbike, only pa pausing for short breaks or to do odd jobs to pay for her next tank of gas. Interesting. So that's how she made her way. It took her almost a year to get there, maybe? She apparently doesn't bond with anyone and never divulges her motivations. The witnesses are not... Un how do you read that? Un Anonymously, maybe, confer that she spends moments of rest listening to her mother's music box she sent her and contemplating some strange painting. Ooh, I like it. Right. Guess I'd better start looking for shops called Müller that are likely to sell art supplies. Müller. I'm pretty sure that's not the one. That one has paintings, though. Not a pharmacy. Not gourmet. Fishmonger. I think it is this one. Clockworks. Ooh, since 1842. Antique dealer. This one could do the trick, I guess. Toffees, no. General store, no. Shoes, no. Hats, no. Maybe? One of my choices feels off. I should change it. Maybe not that one? Antique dealer is probably it, right? These three make up a good basis to work from. Let's see if I can rule out a couple using the map. So we have D3, E5, and C4. Okay. D3. So that's here. Well, do we know where, what area we want to be in? C4 is here. Oh, this is like antiquities. Huh. Maybe the painting case came from this shop. Do I just need to... Okay. Do that? So these three shops are the most likely to have sold the painting case. I need to pick the right one now. I mean, obviously. The antique shop from the phone book is located in this district. Looks like it's full of similar stores. No doubt about it. This antique shop is probably my best shot. Better hang on to the address. Oh. Oh, that was it. <laughs> uh, okay. Just need to get the painting from my room and I can go and show it to the antique dealer. I get the impression I've seen that before someplace. Seen what? That thing. It's very calm here. Still haven't bumped into any guests since I arrived yesterday. And that suits me fine. What a nice voice, by the way. So soothing to listen to. Geschichte. History. Hans. A 
According History to the Fire, he came to Wagen during one of his trips. Yeah. 1919. Ostertal is formed from the div dividing up of several states after their defeat during the Great War. Wagen becomes its capital in a difficult economical climate. As the Great Depression from the United States reaches its height in Europe, the situation becomes critical in Wagen with an unemployment rate of 25% and higher. Wagen owes its salvation to a strange French inventor by the name of Hans Vorlberg. This young man, on passing through the town on one of his numerous trips to the east, stayed in Wagen to mechanize the entire city, which was destroyed by fire, so creating thousands of jobs that boosted the stagnant economy, before he disappeared as he had appeared. We owe him notably the town jewel, the musical square. After years of growth, brown shadow fascist, annexed Wagen. There followed a night of murderous raids against the Vajir... Vajiran? It's a vag. Sounds like a vag. Um, after years of fascist occupation, Wagen is finally liberated by the Allied forces consisting of Soviet, American, British, and French troops. Victory greatly facilitated by the local network of resistance fighters. After a decade of being administrated by Allied forces, Wagen recovers its full, full sovereign... Sovereign? Sovereign, sovereignty, and begins to transform its local economy. Arsenal becomes a member of the European Union, the EU. <laughs> okay, so we are at like 1937, right? Oh, so one year after what we've seen so far is when the raids are going to happen. I can't turn it. Can I look at anything else? Highlights in Wagen. Musical Square currently under renovation. No! The must-see destination of Wagen. No one can say they have visited the town if they have not at least seen one of the incredible mechanical concerts. Central Station. Typical architecture is a landmark in its own right. The Antique District. Full of surprises. Idyllic view of the Dombre. Bridge of Mists. Unique architecture and numerous traditional shops. World, World War II Remembrance Remembrance Tour as a tribute to the thousands of vagrants vagrants deported, deported or killed by the brown shadow during World War II this Remembrance Tour will take you to the major locations where wartime horrors took place we hope you will leave time for some silence as you stroll along this moving walk through history it will take you to the following locations. The Bridge of Mists, the district that suffered the most from the terrible anti-vagrant raids in 1938. Remembrance Lane in the Musician District. And finally, the Central Train Station, where people were loaded onto the trains of death. Ugh. So I'm sure it probably ends with like Dana fleeing to America I hope or it'll be just as calm when I get back. Wouldn't mind some alone time by the fire. Hope it still works. What a pretty looking game. Uh, oh, I guess this room is mine. It's the only one that says enter. Hey, that's the painting we were looking at as Dana. Huh. It ended up in here. Oh, that chair is beautiful. Do you not want to inspect that? Nice. It seems like a lifetime since I had enjoyed some good old fashioned comfort. Room might not be as cozy as a you call yurt, but it's sure more spacious. Hmm. Now we can. My wallet. The meager amount I've managed to save since I escaped from the mine. The meager amount I've managed to save since I escaped from the mine. Oh, this is like a little memorabilia now. Katusha's punk group. Would love to have seen them. No. Oh. 
I'll find her, Katyusha. Just like I promised. And we'll find out who she is. Or was. Painting was hidden in Major Sutter's train. Looted by the brown shadow, the train got caught in a rock slide. Yeah. Found the train with Katyusha. Kachush Paintings made in 1937. It was stored in a musical case. Muller shop. Painted near a mountain. I can't decipher the painter's signature. The young woman on it. Who is she? Who is she? You need to find this shop. That's it. Anything else? Is there anything this way? No. Anything this way? Nope. Was I just getting my wallet? Wasn't I getting the thing? Get the mysterious painting in the room. Yeah, I forgot to get it. I actually just looked around the room and left again. <laughs> Was it lying here? Oh, yeah. Perfect. I just need to take this painting to the antique shop I found earlier. Maybe Frau Wagner can tell me how to get there. You got a map. You're good. Okay. I think that's Frau Wagner's room. That's not my room. Better not go in. Wagen is surrounded by the Alps. Switzerland is right on the other side. So it is like Austria. That's Germany over there. I wonder how far Bauchstadt University is from here. Hmm. There we go. Wait, did I read that newspaper? Wartime spoils found in salt mine. Ah, oh, they found it! The discovery of a salt mine in the Iron Taiga region has both shocked campaigners of human rights and rocked the art world. It is reported that the police descended on the illegal underground enterprise following a tip-off from a former slave. Oh, she did it! The slave labor was not the only surprise the police had in store. In one of the caverns, they discovered a steam engine with several wagons full of prized wartime spoils. The missing masterpieces of other precious objects of art are said to have been stolen by the Brown Shadow during World War II. The find is estimated to be worth several hundred million dollars. So she actually killed that uh, guard lady then, since everything is still there. Police Chief Victor Polinski said the operators and the jailers have been detained and the mine has been dismantled. How did no one else find that actually? It was like a big open... Well, for one, the guard and two prisoners never came back and it was a big opening where they had their shift. No one found that? Uh, slaves have been identified and after a short period of hospitalization will be released to their next of kin. According to one hospital source, many slaves have been reporting that they had not been mining salt as was previously understood with ivory and strange artifacts. The police have not yet commented on, commented on these reports, only stating that the investigation is ongoing. With regards to the stolen art, Polinsky added, once our team of art experts has listed and identified the stolen objects, the difficult task will be to return them to their rightful owners. However, Chief, Chief Polinsky and his team might not have to look very far for the owners of many of the items. The authorities have already received hundreds of calls from people around the world claiming to hold proof of stolen family heirlooms and artwork. Ooh, that's awesome. I'm glad that she managed to at least report it to the police. Those chairs look so cool. Open mailbox. You got email? <laughs> there must be three years worth of emails I haven't read here. 
Better do some cleaning up. Ah, that's better. That was quick. She just did delete all. <laughs> that's better. <laughs> Necrology. Ooh. I wish you could be here with me now, Katyusha. We would have found the shop together. One time idol of Soviet's youth is reported missing. Child prodigy, also known as Katyusha, joined the prestigious Soviet Coral? Coral? Yeah, at the early age. Many were her fellow country folk who shed a tear on hearing her performance on state radio of the famous song that gave her her nickname, Katusha. The homonym owes nothing to chance. Indeed, Katusha's parents, devoted party officials, have planned out her life with the goal of making her the epitome of the model citizen. But on reaching adolescence, Katusha began to rebel. Moving from one more or less radical libertarian group to another, Katusha ended up supporting every struggle against the established order. She militated for the rights of women, homosexuals, and every oppressed minority in general. A defiance took shape in the early 2000s when Katusha co-founded a punk group. Their provocative lyrics and parody of cabaret and patriotic songs began finding an echo in circles with a liberal tendency in the West. It would seem that the young woman had disappeared in mysterious circumstances a few nights ago after a concert, when driving an old van belonging to the band on a country road. The wreck of the vehicle was found at the bottom of a river. Jeez. However, one police source confirms that Katrusha's body had not been, has not been found, but that all the evidence suggests that her body has been carried away by the river. This has been contested by the other members of the band. The young woman... The young women claim that their leader's disappearance was mandated by their political enemies to reduce their f friend to silence. There is nothing, however, to support this conspiracy theory. It's true! Oh my god, mom was buried months ago. Mm. Sarah Walker, following a long illness, sadly passed away at the age of 65. Oh, that's so young. Involved in the field of culture, especially in opera, and much loved by her neighbors and friends, she leaves behind her happy memories to all who knew her. Sarah was also the mother of the brilliant lawyer, Kate Walker, who has not been seen since she left for Europe over a year ago. The burial of Sarah has been postponed by one week to give extra time for the news to reach her daughter. It is hoped that Miss Walker will be able to come home to say a last farewell to her mother, Olivia Foster, a long-standing friend of the family, Invites all those who would like to pay their last respects to Sarah Walker to attend the religious service at 2 p.m. on August 28th. Olivia and her husband, Dan, would like to thank everyone who joins them in their grief, as well as Frank Malkovich and the staff at Mount Sinai Hospital. Locations? Van. Oh, way too many results that way. I'd never have located the Müller shop. Good thing I had Frau Wagner's documents. What a cool looking keyboard. The Iron Taiga refers to a region of Eastern Europe that has remained largely wild, mostly known for having been a defense line of the USSR during the Cold War. Soviet forces deployed a large amount of heavy military equipment in the region for the prevention of an eventual attack from the forces of NATO. What a cool looking computer. Oh, hi, dear. So, Miss Walker, were the documents of any help to you? Honestly, yes, with her hair, she looks like look she could the be the lady, Dana. Thank you so much, Frau Wagner. Good. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your guest house, Frau Wagner? Oh, I'd be delighted. What would you like to know? Things seem to be quiet today. Oh, there's never many guests at this time of year. Actually, <gasps> the is painting she too? Oh, yes. She arrived earlier. An elderly English lady. A former military officer, if I understood correctly. They say she's come on some rather unpleasant business. A burial, from what I can gather. Oh. Yes, Miss Walker. And she hasn't let go of the telephone since she got here. Could she be Dana? 
uh, let's see, if she was like 15, say she was 15 in 1937. Mm, she'd be in her 80s. Nah. She looks too spry. I'd love to know more about you, Frau Wagner. Oh, there's not much to tell, really. At least, nothing that would change the course of history. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you've had an eventful life, haven't you? Well, I was born just after the war in Wagen, and I've never left. I opened this place and ran it with my husband until he died a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. You see, nothing to write home about. Then again, we were never ones for excitement, really. But we were happy, my husband and I. Hmm. The room's just perfect. Thank you so much. There's no need to thank me, Miss Walker. It's my job to make sure my guests are comfortable. And it's not every day we get a young American lady on a motorbike in the middle of the night looking for a mysterious shop. <laughs> she likes it. It makes me feel like I'm in a detective novel. Hee <laughs> hee. I have a few questions about Wagen. Good. Because if you have the saying latest it. scientific discovery, I'd have to say pass. <laughs> but if it's about Wagen, then you've come to the right person, my dear. The district. What can you tell me about the district? Well, it's one of the oldest districts in Wagen, traditionally working class. Myself and a few so of the other pretty. who live here do try to keep it from modernization and mass tourism as best as we can. Can't wait to walk around it. Other districts haven't been so careful, and the locals have been forced to leave their district because of rising rent prices. Hmm. Apparently the shop I'm looking for is located in Wagen's Antiques District. Could you tell me how to get there from the guest house? Your best bet is to take the tram, miss. The town centre is almost entirely pedestrian, and your motorbike won't be of any use there. You'll find the nearest tram stop at the top of the stairs, to your right as you go out of the guest house. Okay. To be honest, I haven't had much time to find out about Wagen and the surrounding area. What is it I should know? For one, Wagen is very old, renowned for its charm and culture. As for the surrounding area, it attracts mountain lovers mostly, it being so near to the Swiss Alps. I love mountains. The banks of the Dombra, the longest river in the country, are the delight of summer vacationers. My uh, quest here is closely linked to the region of Wagen. Could you tell me a little bit about its history? I'd be glad to. Um... The woman I'm looking for must have been about 18, 18 in 1937. Was this an important date in the history of Wagen? Not that I know of, no. But I'm not much of a historian, and I wasn't even born then. All I know is that the Troubles came the following years, with the Second World War. So that year must have been a boom year for fascist ideology, when the brown shadow was still just another party vying for power by preaching hate. I found out about the woman I'm looking for thanks to a painting that must have been pillaged by the brown shadow during World War II. Doesn't surprise me. Wagen, and by extension, all of Ostertal, was annexed and occupied by the fascists just before the war. They sacked, stole, and pillaged everything they could just like they did in the rest of occupied Europe. Nothing else comes to mind for the moment. Thank you for your time. Well, feel free to come back and ask if you have any more questions. Hmm, <laughs> she's so nice. Can we check the phone? Hello there. If you don't mind, I'm in the middle of a call. Is this... Where's the front door? Oh, there. Have a nice day, Miss Walker. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. So we can't use our bike. Pity Vagen is practically it? all pedestrian. After all those months on the road, I've gotten kind of fond of that old bike. I'm surprised it even runs, honestly. All these shots. 
Look at the bike. This beautiful bike. So we have to go up the stairs. So naturally, I'm going down the stairs first. See what I can find. Nothing, apparently. No one to talk to. Ooh, look at that reflection on the street. Damn. Oh, there's two people. Nothing to say, though. Is that a bicycle? Hmm. Oh, it's a dead end. I can't look at the bike. Oh, I can this look at this. district is just so beautiful. So pretty. <laughs> I really like that. It feels like the, the game devs are so proud of what they made that they really wanted to give you tons of like moments, different shots of like little levels to be like, look, look at these different angles. Beautiful. It's nice. I like it. And they should be proud. It's very good so far. Uh-huh. That's where we wanted to go. Should we just do that? First clue, achievement unlocked. I was thinking of the stairs and the bike as well, but I think there was a side alley that we came in through. I am not looking forward to 1938. I feel like it's gonna be so sad. I feel like the parents the are gonna die or something. A devil's pass, you mean? I did hear something on the news before coming out. What's the latest then? They reckon they found remains dating back to World War II, when Alpine resistance networks led refugees across into Switzerland. Nasty times were those. Yes, not the best times in our history, were they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? That time we played Black Mirror, the remake. That was fun. This is so nice. Again, they're so proud of what they made. It's just like, just sit back, enjoy the scenery for a little bit. Here's some different shots, just as riding the train. I can click continue, but you can just hang out for a little bit if you want. Amazing. You can really soak in the game. It's nice. The antique district. I need to pee. Should we maybe... Do a tiny pee break here, now that we got to a new area. A new area. Oh. Diary entry. Um. Yeah, okay. Able to quickly pick up Miss Walker's trail. She was staying for a while in the local guest house, but had already left by the time I arrived. Oh. It's not going to be easy to find out if she has left the town or moved to another address. The guest house owner, a certain Frau Wagner, seems to hold her in very high esteem and has categorically refused to help me. It was all I could do to get Frau Wagner to tell me that Miss Walker went to the antique district on her first day in the city. I shall just have to follow her footsteps in order to reconstitute, reconstitute? her trials and tribulations in Wagen. Never mind, though. After all, it's been my routine for almost the last three years now. Dude, you are a bad detective if you can't find her. Okay. She's not even using a fake name or anything. 
There he is. Beautiful boy. Okay. Uh, there we are. Okay, so we came from there. Let's take a look. Typical of the town, judging from what I've seen so far of the architecture here. You're looking at the screen? You're looking at the game? You see the mouse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he sees the mouse moving. Further surprising find in the mine. Investigations at the salt mine discovered in the Iron Taiga region after a tip-off have taken a surprising turn. We previously reported the incredible discovery of a brown shadow treasure train in the salt mine along with a slave labor force housed in rudimentary, rudimentary underground cells. Police investigators have now unearthed a collection of invaluable artifacts along with a store of mammoth ivory deemed of major significance by anthropologists around the world. Experts hope that carbon dating will confirm... You wanna move? You're not comfy? Experts hope that carbon dating will confirm they are from Neolithic times, in which case these finds will prove the existence of a mythical East European empire corresponding to Great Russia. Furthermore, it has been confirmed that the laborers used to dig out the invaluable artifacts were abducted by an Eastern European fascist militia. This militia thus provided the owners with a constant supply of slaves. During a press conference, Chief Inspector Viktor Polinsky said, these astonishing finds confirm accounts from forced workers that the criminal excavation venture was set up following the permafrost thaw. The permafrost thought to have been in existence for 6,000 years has been slowly melting due to the effects of global warming. To what end the owners were intent on excavating the invaluable artifacts and resources is not yet known. Um, okay, let's go this way. Anything on this side? I don't think so. An antique shop, but not the one I'm looking for. This is Carl's. Let's go down the street. It's so peaceful here. Hello, Hello there. Oh, straight ahead, Fraulein. You can't miss it. Does that look like it? Those poor paintings and books, though. You can't just have them outside all day, every day. The sunlight no, will discolor the it. Antique shop I'm looking for. The humidity. Won't that ruin it? Müller und Söhne? It's just over there, on the next corner. Okay. Observe. Feels like I've completely lost my appetite since the mines. And yet, Wagen is famous the world over for its cakes. Müller und Söhne. <laughs> Müller and son. <laughs> this must be the place. Oh, there's a note on the door. What does it say? Baby's cleaning. So cute. I thought as much. So, Hans was here in Wagen after all. That hallmark on that sphere proves it. Ah. I wonder what that automaton was used for. I have to get a closer look. Well, that is if someone lets me in. Wait, what if we can put Oscar in it and then it's like a... A floating orb that like talks to you. Inventory day. Ring Ooh. three times for urgent matters. Hmm. I mean, we're not exactly urgent, but. It 
Sorry. I am urgent business. You rang? Uh, yes. Sorry to bother you. Oh, explore the stalls. Um, hello. I mean, uh, guten tag. Herr Müller? Guten tag, Fräulein. I am stock-taking, if you will. Oh, sorry to disturb you. But if you don't mind, I'd like to show you a painting. A painting? Yes, of someone I'm looking for. A girl who apparently looked like me. Well, I'm rather busy. But all right. Show me. You see? It has the name of your shop on it. Yes, the label certainly comes from here. It's mm. very old, though. It's the only clue I have as to the whereabouts of the girl. I see. My guess is, whoever owned the painting must have been a client of the shop before get the her. painting was stolen by the brown shadow during the Second World Always War. Get her. That's all very possible. That was when the shop sold materials for artists. As you can see, we don't sell that type of article anymore. Do you mind if I take a look? Be my guest. Hope we get a clue. Do you know anything about the artist? Well... I'd say the style is close to the naturalist school, which makes sense given the date on it. The signature is very faint. From what I can make of it... No, no. I, the name doesn't ring a bell. Sorry, Fraulein. Yeah, the voice acting is amazing, I agree. How could the case have come from your shop? Going by the date... The painting must have been done in my grandfather's day. Oh. Back then, the shop sold materials for art, and this type of case would have been used to protect a painting. Or to carry documents, a manuscript, or even sheet music. Apart from that, there's not much else I can tell you. I've been told I look like the model in the painting. A slight exaggeration, no doubt. But is there any chance that you know who she could have been? There's no exaggeration, Fraulein. Huh? Indeed, she does look like you. Oh, but I'm he sorry. agrees. I've never seen her before. Pity. You were my last hope. I can tell you where it was painted, though. If it's any help. Oh. oh? Yes, I'm certain. That's the refuge at the Silberspiegel. You can make out the mountain circus in the background. It overlooks Wagen and leads to the Swiss border. Right. You can get there by the tramway. Just head southeast and get off at the end of the line. Thank you. Is that where You've she got been the very helpful? Mind you, there's quite a hike from the station to the refuge. Oh, I'll manage. Anything else, Fraulein? Actually, there is. I noticed an object in your window there. A strange metal sphere which might work with an automaton <gasps> mechanical yes, heart I have. Is that that? Yes, it's an authentic Vorlberg. Do you mind if I try it? No, not at all. Let me get it for you. He's like, yeah, I've never seen this thing work, so let's go. Here you go. Thanks. What am I doing? <laughs> it moved. Maybe it can be opened. Mm -hmm. What about this side? Okay. Oh, looks like there's something underneath its scales. Should we do that again? Hans's logo. Oh. 
Haha. What is that? A keyhole? Wrong one. Oh, Ugh, I need to start the, over. What's the key? What's the number? Two nine three six seven zero. Two. Is that no? That's a six. Wrong one. Ugh, two. I need to start over. Nine. Three. Six. Seven. Oh. <laughs> I think keep thinking that's like select. Doesn't fit. Select. I must have missed something with that device. Doesn't this fit? You think we can extend it somehow? Ah. A Varlberg key. Okay. That's where the heart fits. Oh shit! Glad you're back among the living. The dude's like, oh my god, too, it Kate works. Walker. But I seem to have an internal management issue. <laughs> this host body's instincts seem to be at odds with me. And uh, Oscar, is everything all right? Oscar? Oscar, come back! <laughs> <gasps> oh dear, I can't control myself. Help, please, Kate Walker. Help me. <laughs> Oscar, where are you going? I can't help it, Kate Walker. It's taking me away. Oscar! Oh, it's wait, going somewhere. Come back! I am out of control, Kate Walker. Help. <laughs> hey, what the... Follow him, quick. Oh my god. That thing is crazy. <laughs> that thing is crazy. Go that way. Where did he go? Oscar! Have you seen an automaton? Like a small animal. Oh, I sure did. The little bugger just rushed inside this coffer. Oh. Um. Well, do you have the key? Oh, I have plenty on my stall. Please feel free to find the right one, and then get the hell out of here with that pet of yours. <sighs> Hang on, Oscar. Just stay where you are, okay? That's shouldn't be a problem given the situation, Kate Walker. How did he get in there? In hurry, this host body's... I guess it could open the coffer. Oh, this one could work with the coffer. I guess. Uh, any other ones? Oh. Could be this one. Or another. Come Anything on, else? there must be a way to see which key is the right one for the coffer. There's another one. Okay, that's about 
it for a first glance. Let's have a look. Mm, I don't feel that one. I feel this one. I warn you, you'll have to pay for the damage of that animal. Oh, well, last one I tried. <laughs> oh, there are you, Oscar. No, don't. <laughs> Where are you Oscar, going? Don't move. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> there you are. My Come on out. Kate Walker. But it seems I am unable to take over this body's instincts. It won't budge. Hang in there, Oscar. I'll find something to force it out. I mean, you out. But whatever. You know what I mean. You need Please to just like hurry, Kate Walker. <laughs> you need to no, just hold on I can't to use it. The... Hey, wait a second. Kate Walker, what are you? <laughs> Sorry, Oscar. It's all I could come up with. You need to fight it, Oscar. This is so funny. Help! Oh, is he going up? <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, he's gonna jump. <laughs> BB's patiently waiting. Oh, I hear him there. There. Fight it, Oscar. But I can't! You can do it, Oscar! I know you can! <laughs> He's trapped in a dead end! I got him now! Oh my god, so funny. Get him! Is he gonna shoot out again? Oscar, what are you doing? I am unable to control the beast's infernal instinct. Help me, Kate Walker. Okay, calm down. Good boy. Nice <laughs> and easy. That a boy. I'm sure he'll get used to it. Uh, child? That's enough. You come back here right oh, now. That's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. I, I didn't know that was what chide means. Coax? Come here. Who's my boy? Come <laughs> here now. Oh, he's such a good boy. Come on. Does that work? Oscar, don't! Oscar! <laughs> oh, no. Oscar, please! Come back! I need you! Oh, no. Do we follow the sewers? That those tiles? Um I don't wanna give up, but is there anything we can do? Okay, maybe it wasn't that great of an idea to put him in that ball. Follow the sewers. The drain has to lead somewhere. Uh, oh. We're just gonna give up on him? Completely? Damn. I oh, guess- Not again. Not Oscar. Oh, darn it, why do I have to lose everyone I love? I'm sure he'll find his way back. He just needs to get his instincts under control. I'm not too worried. Yeah, <laughs> D end. What the hell is my broom doing here? <laughs> Nothing. The damn thing is on the loose, huh? Well, good riddance. So I'm back. 
So, couldn't you catch it? No, sorry. I lost your Vorlberg steer. Ah, oh, forget it. Nobody wanted it anyway. And it was taking up window space. Oh. Automatons don't fascinate people like they used to. I imagine you're the only one who will notice it's gone. Hmm. It's a terrible loss. It's a terrible loss indeed. More than I could say. But thanks for all your help anyway. You are very welcome. Good day to you, Fraulein. Thank you, Herr Müller. I'm off to the mountain refuge you told me about. Good day. Come on, Kate. Herr Müller gave you all the pieces of information you needed. And Oscar must be long gone now. Better move on to the tram. He'll find you, I'm sure, if you just stay in Wagen. Check the sewer path. I don't know. It doesn't seem like an objective right now, so... I think he'll just find his way back to us later. Or because he's an animal, he's like trying to escape the city. His instincts are like trying to get out. Maybe we'll meet up again. Heh. <laughs> We're in the tram again. It looks so nice. You can just hang out here. Oh, this one's higher up. So pretty. It looks so nice. Oh, -ho! whoa, that's cool. So it stays horizontal. Up we go! I like the little puzzles we've had so far. I wish there was a little bit more of it. It seems very story heaven, heavy. Heaven. Very story heavy so far. But I'm not complaining. The story seems very good. He's <laughs> taken in the sights. Oh, he's going back. Oh, someone's watching us. Goodbye! I was gonna say, it must be cold up there, but I feel like our main character has had plenty of cold. In the past. Oh, no, 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 don't ask. No, no, no. no. Mm hmm. Not exactly welcoming. I'd better find a way to the refuge. No one here. Hardly surprising. This one, this one. Hmm. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> sure. Ah, how nice. Ah, here we can travel back. The refuge must have been a popular destination for vacationers. Okay. And then what? 
Do I look anywhere else? It is very pretty. Ooh, I can walk over here. But oh, there's when something. When was the last time anyone was here? That's it. <laughs> ah, just a beautiful walk through the forest. Introspection moment. Oh, this is going to be painful, isn't it? I would definitely it's sit so down. It's so beautiful, so calm. But what am I doing here? Well, they say bad things come in threes. First mother's death, then poor Katusha, and now Oscar. I can't believe I've lost him again. Am I doomed or what? We'll come back. Thank goodness I've still got the girl in the painting. Something to hang my hopes on. But maybe I'm just kidding myself. And why me? Why not Katusha? Why did she have to die? It's like, like this painting has chosen me. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful place. Don't know what I expect to find here, though. Yet somehow it feels right. Can't say why. I mean, why am I so sure this mountain refuge has anything to do with the painting? Maybe I'm just a hopeless optimist. Or a lost dreamer. <sighs> I guess there's only one way to find out. So nice. The environment is amazing. Let's go up. A little forest jog up a mountain. Ooh, what's that? Herr Müller was right. It's quite a walk to the refuge. Seven and a half k. Well, I guess the sooner I head out, the sooner I get there. It's probably like an hour, two hour hike. If she's really quick, if she keeps sprinting like that. <laughs> Wait, did I get the thing? Admire the view before you set off again. How do I do that? Maybe there? Bit too close to the edge, if you ask me. <laughs> I should find a safer spot. Okay. I agree. Wow. What a fantastic view. I should try and find a better spot to admire it from. Ooh. That is stunning. If what I read about the region is true, Switzerland should be nearby, on the other side of those mountains. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. I guess that's the refuge way over there. Dude. Oh, well. Better get going. Did you even bring any food or water? <laughs> I don't think she planned this right. <laughs> no. You want dinner, huh? Yeah. Um, so I inspected the view. Did that count? Yes. Oh, I also haven't checked up on my journal. Going to my latest information, Kate Walker has lost that automaton of hers she calls Oscar. By all accounts, it happened during the last visit to the Miller Antique Shop. Oh, that's his face. Given that she's also now mourning her mother and her co-inmate, I'm beginning to wonder if Miss Walker brought some kind of curse upon herself when she fled with the late Monsieur Va... What was it again? Forlberg? Nearly three years ago. It seems... It might seem a bit far-fetched, but there's a term I once heard at a conference by my favorite crime writer, and it keeps popping into my head whenever I think of Kate Walker. 
hubris. It describes the arrogance and excessive pride of a person that leads them to disregard the divinely fixed limits, and by seeking to avoid a tragic destiny, the person ends up by provoking it. I guess it's like a cruel twist of fate, like that which seems to be striking Kate Walker. She fled her old life, and yet, after all of these, these misfortunes, her old life must seem more present and full of regrets than ever. But anyway, Miss Walker is still on her unlikely quest to find the woman in the picture she found in that mine. My guess is she's thrown herself into this new quest to escape from her grief. Herr Miller, Herr Miller from the antique shop told me he sent Miss Walker to the Silver Spiegel refuge in the mountains near Wagen. I'll be heading out there as soon as I can. Miss Walker only has a few days head start. She may well be there by the time I arrive. Cool. This way. This is quite the hike. You better hope there's people there so you can spend the night or something. Oh god, falling rocks. I better rocks. be careful here. Too many fallen trees and wobbly rocks for my liking. Get ready for instant death like a uh, nasty tree. That? Oh! There was a person! Don't trust it. Oh, bunny! Ho ho ho! Hoppity hop. Inspect the resistance memorial. Hiking tips? Thanks, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Starting? Plan your trip and inform others about the route you've chosen. Failed that. Adapt the plant routes according to your abilities and weather condition. Eh. Pay attention to weather and avalanche warnings. Be equipped so you can help yourself and others. Choose safe routes. Use map and a compass. Don't even have those. Don't be ashamed to turn back. Save your energy and seek shelter. If you're tired, make sure you're able to get back to the nearest shelter at all times. Greet other hikers. If you want to greet like the locals do, you would say... Grezi in Swiss German, Guten Tag in German, Bonjour in French, or Buongiorno in Italian. What's this one? Anyone know it? Ah, like Route. Oh, it just clicked. Route in Dutch. Grezi. Good. Yeah, there's one person who, whenever they leave a comment on YouTube, they always close their comment with MFG and then their name. So, mit freundliche Gruß, Grüßen. I can't really pronounce it, but with friendly greetings in German. But uh, my first reaction wow. whenever I see it... That was one heck of a walk. I'm always like, my fucking god. <laughs> it's my first instinct. Oh, I know that's on. not what they mean, but a ladder now. You did not come prepared. <sighs> okay, let's just do this. Hold left click and move the cursor to progress. Okay. Ooh, they must be so Pretty cold. Sure. There must be another way. Oh, I don't know. Just be happy that they put those rings there. In the old days, it was probably much harder. Someone actually had to install those. Think of that. Oh, this is so cool. The settings are really, really fun. You made it. 
It's really a beautiful game. That must provide energy to the refuge. Wow. Okay, we can go up there. I guess that is it. Uh, that's not how you get up there. <laughs> there you go. I've wow. seen that before. Was that where she was standing? That must be it. Huh. Compare the painting and the landscape. Now I should try to find a matching point somewhere. Sky. Beautiful sky in either case. Huh. But that's not enough. No, you need to look at the peaks. This as well, the railing, yeah. I saw the railing on the picture there. Just what I was looking for. Perfect. And then maybe this peak? Sharp peaks. Like these? Those sharp peaks. They look exactly the same. Oh, one more. Hmm. Yeah, maybe just this one. Heart-shaped rock wall? That's heart-shaped? Huh? No, it doesn't match. Glacier. There. That rock wall. It can't be a coincidence. She was standing right there. Wow. Oh, who that? Hardly changed at all. Bright that might be her. Isn't it, Fraulein? <laughs> She's old enough. It is called the Silver Spiegel. Our local pride. Judging from my painting, it wasn't that different 60 years ago. Ma'am, is everything all right? You look just like her. Yes. <gasps> it's just that... Say it. very much like the person in the picture, yes. Fraulein. She's so, just taking it. <laughs> you do know Bye. Her, then, don't you? Can't say I don't. But it was a very long time ago. Actually, I've come a very long way to find out about her. I would really like to know who she is, or was. It's very important to me, you see? It might be her. And why is that, Fraulein? I don't think it could be the mom, because then the mom would be like a hundred. Um... I, I made a promise to a friend who happened to save my life before, before losing her own. She's so pretty. I see. By the way, what is your name? Oh, Walker. Kate Walker. I am Lenny. Lenny Renner. Nice to meet you, Frau Lenny. Demoiselle, my dear. My legs never did manage to get me to church in time. Oh. <laughs> Demoiselle Lenny. Nice. Well, Roland Walker, 1937, you say? Ah, uh, that was before the war, when I could still run like the fawn wind. Father was the manager in those days. Flashback time? Nice. It was one summer evening that the whole story of your painting began. I remember it like it was yesterday. A group of scientists were staying at the refuge to prepare for an expedition to some faraway place in the east. They were being trained by a local alpinist who was to guide them. His name was Leon Kabatis. Oh, handsome as a Greek god he was. <laughs> and an Olympic champion, no less. Very popular with the ladies. And he was lovely to me would give me a wink and a smile whenever I served him his beer. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny, he would say. Ah, oh, she has the same French, earrings. If you please. 
Made me feel like a proper little madam. <laughs> but then Frau Junta would always shoo me away. Frau Junta? Must have been in her mid-twenties. But of course, to me, she was an old hag. Past it. <laughs> and I didn't like the way she bossed my Leon around with that camera of hers. The refuge was buzzing. Everyone was jolly. I love and how... the scientists were there. Like, she's remembering it happened, so you see it at the same time. A cheerful bunch, really, despite their disputes. Except, that is, for one. Frank Hoss was his name. Preferred his own company. Though I could see, even with my young eyes, he was devious as the devil. But what about the girl in the picture? Well, she was there that evening, too. She had come to work through the summer. Her name was Dana. Dana Rose. Ah, oh, she was as cute as a button and well-mannered with it. Even father was sweet as a lamb to her. Hmm. Take care of the scientist drinks, then go around taking orders. And have a look at the stove while you're at it. Yes, Herr Gustav. Will you be all right now, Dana? It's the first busy night since you started, so just ask if there's anything you need to know. All right, my lovely? Cute. Thank you, Herr Gustav, but it looks pretty straightforward. I'll be fine. That's the girl. Off you trot then, my lovely. Keep smiling, and you'll have them carrying your tray for you. Okay, here we go. I need to serve those drinks to the scientists. One Spitzer and a Spitzer and a Berner. Two Nables. Prepare and serve this. Oh, I need to prepare them. Take orders on the terrace and adjust the stove. Well, I'm assuming I have the drinks in my hand. What a strange mechanism. It reminds me of the automatons on the musical square. Um, go this way. She has a tray full of drinks, so I'm assuming it's for these I should go on the guys. other side of the counter. Oh. Those drinks won't get served by themselves. Okay. Counter. Gotcha. Oh god. Oh god, she's going everywhere. She's running wild. She's on the loose. So you want to make the drinks somewhere here? Okay. One of these. So this is the Spitzer. You need to grab a mug. Nice. That's one. One Spitze and Berna. So I think I need to like... Maybe combine it? Berna, huh? I open it. Oh. Oh, I hold it. There you go. And to Nabel. That pouring sound is so nice. You sure you don't want to add a second one to that? The keg's empty. I need to change it. Uh, is there more behind here? There you go. Now you're ready. That should be it. Let's serve these gentlemen now. I've been trained by Chilla's art. I got this. Here you go. No, Two we'll Chilla Pacinos. Go higher, I'm telling you. But my point is that it's highly improbable that any primate will be able to survive so high up, let alone thrive. And if they were primate. thriving, we wouldn't be looking for them, would we? I say they've taken to the higher ground, and they only come down to steal livestock and game. Look out, chat. Gentlemen, your drinks. 
Ah, good on you, lassie. Horst, make yourself useful and pass these around. First day, is it? What Better a charmer. Wish, then. All right, I will. I wish you would tell me what all those maps are for. Ah, that I can. Oh, ho, ho. she they a nosy one, ain't different she? Locations of an expedition we're planning. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. I see you haven't come just for the view, then. <laughs> Too many eyes on me. <laughs> oh, no, we're only here for the beer and a pretty smile. Damn. That's our trainer out there. Supposed to knock this scraggly lot into shape for the big climb in Baltayar. She's so pretty. Oh. She's admiring him. Right. <laughs> That's so obvious. Anything else? And what about you, gentlemen? Says the well, streamer. Well, let me yeah. introduce you to my dream team. <laughs> Horse You'd be surprised. Talented anthropologist and frequent but worthy pain in the ass, your mother. Rudolf Jaeger, distinguished ethnologist. And last but not least, Albert Bauer, paleontologist. And yourself? Reinhard Berger. Bio Reinhard. As Herr Berger says, we're here to train for the Origin Expedition. In return for funding for our own projects back home. And for the love of science, eh, Horst? Oh, yes, of course, Herr Berger. I'm sure none of us would be here otherwise, would we? And what about you, my lovely? Oh, I'm Dana. I'm working here during the holidays, that's all. Huh. I think that's it. Oh, I can look around. But I can't. Honestly, uh, is there anything else I can do? Oh, the map. And what's that one of, if you don't mind me asking? That is Baltayar. A Baltayar. In the mountains of northern China. That's where I'll be leading my team in a couple of weeks. And what's this expedition for? Well, keep it to yourself. But the code name is Origin. Mm -hmm. And if I have my way, it will likely change the way we perceive humanity. I'm curious to know what this origin expedition is all about, though. If it's not top secret, that is. They have Put clocks this from way, around the world. Dana. What times are <gasps> the... Oh, when we discover what we're looking for. You will no doubt remember this conversation as your claim to fame. Good age, geez. You will tell your grandchildren that you served the Origin team. The team that discovered none other than the missing link of the superior race of humans, the Australopithecus habilis, the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. Or, more vulgarly put, the abominable snowman. They are looking for the oh, Yeti. I see. Now I get why it's called Origin. Whatever we find, whatever we call it, it's likely to send shockwaves all through the world of anthropology. It will help us to explain how we evolved from Australopithecus to modern man, and then became... <laughs> he's off again. Get him started on anthropology, and he's like a bolted horse. I don't think Fraulein Dana wants you to clobber her with your explanations, Horst. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, though. It's fun. Yeah, on the contrary. Oh, I might only be a waitress, but actually I find it quite interesting. Well, Fraulein, the Origin Expedition could lead us to a totally new series of studies. Or even reveal a new mode of tribal organization. Or a micro-society. By the discovery of a specimen, that may well have played a major role in the evolution of modern man. Come, gentlemen, here's to the Brown Shadow for generously sponsoring this expedition, which is sure to redefine our oh, understanding of Oh, that took a turn. Mankind. Oh, I see oh that took a turn. The personnel, gentlemen. Just giving a toast to our generous sponsor. Ooh. May I remind you that this mission? If only they knew. My party. Is confidential? Do you know what that means, Dr. Berger? Yes, I heard. It means, gentlemen, 
it is strictly forbidden to communicate any details or objectives to anyone outside our circle, let alone to the first waitress to come by twinkling her eyelashes. Fraulein, as soon as you're done here, I suggest you get back to your chores. <sighs> so I was already thinking, like, she was like, oh, I'm just here working for, a, like, during the holiday. And then that she was just like, nothing else. Of working with a she doesn't want to give away where she's from or who she is any further but than that. This is dangerous. And I suppose, like anything else in life, there has to be some compromise to get what one desires. So, think nothing of it, Fraulein. It is the way of science. Indeed, it is the way of the world. Hmm. Time to go. I suppose it is the way of the world, Herr Berger. Don't make a scene. Just thank you, gentlemen, for telling me about your expedition. Keep a low profile. But I must get back to work. Oh, he was so excited. Um. Okay, what was my tasks? Oh, so you can just like quickly get a inspect a painting on the table. That was a painting. Take orders on the terrace, adjust the stove. Okay. Do I need to add wood? Okay. Oh, here. It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. Okay. I saw a basket in the back, I think. There. I have a log. Perfect. That should be it for the fire. But I think there's something wrong with the airflow. How do you check that? Hmm. Looks all good to me. Okay. This mechanism controls the air intake, if I remember correctly. Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. So what do Herr we do Gustav with it? Herr Gustav didn't have time to fix it. Maybe the other side? Hmm. Looks all good to me. Better try another one. Oh, okay. No. Impossible. That one is loose. Sure looks like it. What do we do with it? Oh. Do you want to add it to the other side? Hmm. Looks all good to me. Maybe not here, but here. Damn, she's an engineer. That's it. I'm done here. You figured that out all by yourself. Impressive. Leon, dear, do make an effort. There's the other girl. They're taking pictures. Oh, he is handsome. Oh, he has a little bit of, um, oh, what's his name? The actor with the big nose. Who, um, Better not interrupt plays them. the pianist. That, Frau wasn't that movie. Exactly friendly, Predator as well. Lenny. Adrian Brody. I think that's it, yeah. I've done all that Herr Gustav told me to do. I'd better go and tell him. Talk to her. Inspect a painting on the table. Where is that painting? Anyone know where the painting is? What you doing? Lenny, sweetheart? Crikey, you nearly made me jump out of my skin. Crikey, what have you got there? 
It's a camera lens, that's all. A camera lens? Yeah. Borrowed it from Frau Junta. On the table by the stove. <laughs> I've just made her acquaintance. A real charmer, isn't she? And she never lets me have a go of her gear anyway. I only wanted to help her film something. I bet she's jealous. Lenny, what's so special about Frau Junta's equipment that makes you want to steal it? Borrow it. <laughs> All right, borrow it. Can't you see? Who would be interested in Ginger Junta if she didn't have a camera, huh? She's too old for Leon. She <laughs> uses it so she can be the center of attention, you know. Is that what you want? No. She actually no, looks like exactly. the older character model as Besides, well. There's nothing like you can kind of tell it's the I same person. The me, eyes. But no, you don't. Feels like a prison here sometimes, all on my own. When I grow up, I live at the top of a building in the big city, and I'll have a swimming pool on my roof. Believe me, I do understand, Lenny. Because of my coughing fits, I've sometimes had to stay in my room for weeks on end. Imagine that, nothing to see but the same four walls. Oh, right. Must have been pretty tough, I guess. That's why I took up the piano. Do you like doing anything special, Lenny? I suppose I like making stuff with Papa. He's got ever such clever hands, you know. But he's always so busy in the summer. Let's be friends then, shall we? You won't tell on me then? Not now that we're friends. You promise. God, I can't get over how pretty I her promise. character model is for Dana. That's it? Such Hold a pretty it. lady. She she would definitely be like a film star or something. Ooh, so glad Herr Gustav likes me to play for the clients. This way at least I won't get rusty. There it is. Those paintings. I think Herr Gustav wanted me to help him choose the one he should buy. He must have left me a note somewhere. Ich muss dich um eine kleine Gefallen bitten. Leon, der junge Bergsteiger, will mir eines seiner Bilder aufschwatzen. <laughs> I have a little favor to ask you. Long Leon the Alpinist is trying to fob me off with one of his paintings. Thus them in his spare time. I grant you that they might not be a masterpiece, but they're well painted. At least I can see what they are. And I would be dead chuffed to hang one up my wall. Besides, Leon's a decent lad and brings in the customers. So I thought as your father sells them, and I know sought all, I'd ask you to choose. Thanks for helping. Hmm. I should take a closer look at those paintings before choosing one. Okay. Surprise the German seems like completely accurate. Well, I can I can read it, but I know I have a very heavy uh Dutch accent. <laughs> Okay, uh, can we, are we supposed to like decide ba just based on this? It's nice, but I like this one better, I think. Yeah, I'll choose this one. I think I'll pick this one. I like it more. I think that did it. Talk to Herr Gustav. This guy? All right. Fine. No more orders and everyone served. That's the girl. Huh? You handled your first foray pretty well, Dana, my girl. Stepping away as you did from anything to do with the brown Hooray, shadow. that was a wordle one day. Keep it up. It will all be all right. Hey, Dana? But what if he... Just do as you did and we'll be all right. You played him like a fiddle, Dana. Well <laughs> done. Especially as I didn't even have to spell out how to go about it. You're a natural. So keep it up, my lovely, and you'll be opening doors at the flick of an eyelash. So, young lady, you're still after the academy in the fall, are you not? What you waiting for, then? Get back to your practicing and play us a nice tune while you're at it. 
All right, Seems then accurate. I will. Seems accurate. You'll be pretty good. Thank you, Thanks. <laughs> Play something melodious this time. It'll make a nice change from the military pieces some of the patrons have been requesting of late. It's so close to Dutch. I can definitely, like... Whenever I used to... I have a couple of friends in Germany, and I used to visit one of them really regularly when I lived in the Netherlands. Way back. Um, and I would always, like, just watch the news or something, and I could, like, understand everything. And I was like, God, it's so close to Dutch. Like, 95% of German. I'm just like, oh, they're saying this. <laughs> But I, I wouldn't be able to make sentences on my own or anything. That That's way too hard. The whole well, der die das dilemma yeah, is just... Did a pretty oof. good job repairing that key I broke yesterday. You broke a key? What a nice shot. That's a famous piece. Music that transcends time. This is where it gets really hard. I've never played this way too hard <laughs> so quick <laughs> the thought alone makes me so nervous <laughs> that you're playing and someone's just like She seems to just be off in her own world. Leon, <laughs> what are you doing? I want to catch the light. They all like it. I wonder if she ends up traveling with them or something. That's scary. <laughs> Can you imagine? You're playing the piano and a dude just comes like... <laughs> God, at least she's 18, huh? Yeah, it, I'm really getting pianist vibes. God, that movie makes me so sad. Chopin, yeah, had to be. Oh, no. creepy close up. They put a surprising amount in the hand finger animations. Like, it's not super accurate or anything, but, like, she seems to. Like, she's not just, like. The hands are seem to actually be doing anything. Come on, applause! 
Don't just stand there awkwardly looking at me. <laughs> They're all just like, that was great. Well played. Uh, hello? Guten Tag. Oh, uh, gosh, um, I, I hope I haven't... Bravo! There you go. Oof. Bravo! Bravo! Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> I love how he's clap. like the hot guy. <laughs> how can you clap? Oh, so you like noise, do you? Oh, dude, shut up. You're drunk. Do you? Well, you should be ashamed. Ashamed, I say. To applaud the music of a, of a, of a treacherous Polish separatist. Rebel rousing! It's this kind of rebel rousing that puts the poison of Marxist Vagarin ideology in the minds of Vagarin. honest people! And those who partake in its vulgarization are accessory to treason! You are drunk, Herr Hoss. Dude, you're shitting on Chopin right now. Out of my way, boy. <laughs> Oh, he tried. You want a brawl, dude? Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Made a fool of yourself. Now piss off. Come, Fräulein. Best clear off until the dust settles. Oh, I feel like we fell into like some like historical love story. You should have seen me then, Fraulein Walker. I was so young and eager to witness whatever could happen between Dana and Leon. I needed to know. A blasted fight. That's all I need. Don't you have some dolls to dress or something? Jeez. Shouldn't you be in bed? Oh, piss off, all of you. Lenny, don't. Give them some space, would you? Ah, damn it. Maybe you can, like, look out a window if you go upstairs. Ooh, what the <sighs> Local man Leo Kabatis took a shock slalom. How do you say that? Slalom? How do you say that in English? I I only know the Dutch word slalom. Men's gold at the Oh yeah, he was an Olympic winner. Yeah. On Saturday, as the two favorites both spectacularly bombed out. Huh. Kobat Kobatis, Kobatis, 21, becomes the only wagon skier to win an Olympic medal, breaking the national record set by Hans Gartmann in 1932. I've been training my whole life for a moment like this, said Wagen. Hmm. He had bronze, but he wanted gold. Pretty much the same. So is it Slalom or Slalom? Say it more like Dutch slash German. Uh, wait. Try playing the piano. Ah. Oh. Well, then I. Oh. My mom has exactly that rug. Honestly, Junta is not that good. I'm sure I could do better if only I could practice a bit. You all right? Did he draw her? Yeah, I thought so. It's just that if I had retaliated, I would have lost my job, you know? Believe me, I came this close to not being able to pay for my studies at the academy after the holidays. Forget it. He was blind drunk. Won't even remember it come tomorrow. All Gustav could see it was in your fault. 
Besides, you didn't see him after your performance. Ecstatic he was. There are more and more people like that brute. They don't even bother to hide their hatred anymore. It's like they've been given a mission, or perhaps I should say permission, to abuse people like me, as if Vagarins had suddenly become the scourge of society. And we're powerless to act because if we did, we'd lose our home. My parents, they've become a bundle of nerves. They can't sleep at night. Only last week, our shop window got smashed again, and our neighbors, they couldn't care less, and neither could the authorities. What's wrong? Did my rant frighten you? Well, yes. Yes, it did. I mean, not you, Fräulein. But what you said about the fascists. You've put my own suspicions into words, Fräulein. Because what you say about the brown shadow is true, and that's what worries me. I used to think they were just a bunch of cranks in their ridiculous uniforms. But now I can see these lunatics really are serious. Deadly serious. But you did know who was behind the Origin Expedition. Never gave it much thought, to be honest. Only met Huss and the scientists today. For me... They were no different from any other group I've trained. If I'd have known that, I'd have had second thoughts. Actually, do you know what? What? I'm going to stop training them. Oh, can you do that? It's still can a free you? country, right? So after a few weeks' notice, I'll be off the hook. At least, I get to spend the summer here with you. <gasps> Painting. He did paint her! But I don't paint. No, you play. I paint. <gasps> it's my passion. Oh. And you can be my muse. Is that what you say to all the girls? <laughs> no. Never. Oh my gosh. Are they kissing immediately? Hello, this is 1937! Everyone's going to bed, so you better come back inside or you'll catch cold, or worse. Oh, there she is. And that's how Dana pipped everyone at the post. It only took one look for Leon to fall head over heels in love with her. And it didn't take much for Dana to fall for him. Love at first sight, you might say. <laughs> ah, that was amazing. The whole band stayed at the chalet all summer <laughs> long. It's so white. And I suppose there you go. everyone went their own sweet way. Did you ever see any of them again? Oh, no. What about Dana and Leon? They too went their own ways, I guess. And that, Fräulein Walker, is all there is to it. Well, he was pretty famous if he was an Olympic winner. You might be able to find out more about him. If they stay Do together. Do you know if she's still alive? Can't be sure, but I doubt it. It was a lifetime ago, Fräulein Walker. Where do you think she might be if she were? Are you going to no Paris? Idea. Things went from bad to worse after that summer. Not to mention half the town was razed during the war. Did Dana leave anything here? Any documents or anything that might help me find where she went? Not that I know of. But I suppose there might be... <sighs> in father's old coffer. Must still be in the loft. Junta bought it from him that summer, so she could use it to store her precious filming gear. She was supposed to come back for it, but she never did. Hmm. If there is anything that can help you, it will be in there. So feel free to look around the refuge by yourself if you like. 
Even though I don't think anyone managed to open the coffer since Gunther left. That sounds Thank like a little puzzle. Thank you so much. Oh, I have been going three and a half hours though. I I was looking earlier at the recording, I was like two and a half hours. I'll go like half an hour and then like uh I'll probably round off the stream. I'm getting a little hungry and now we're like a whole hour ahead. Because she gets so caught up in the huge job. Story. As tough as Lenny is, I hope she has some help when she needs it. The scenes are like so good and all the characters they're all like their voice acting is amazing. They did a really good job. It's like so easy to get sucked in. Oh, it's dazzling up here. I can see why they call it the Zilberspiegel. Zilber means silver and Spiegel is mirror. The silver mirror. It certainly lives up Again, to its name. German and Dutch are so close. Dutch it would be silver spiegel. Basically the same. Okay, how do I save? Does it autosave, you think? That's so scary. I hate when games don't have a manual save option. I always want to do a quick save and a manual save. <laughs> Just saying. But that was amazing so far. This is going to be so good. This will be such a fun story to stream. Um, I bought the first game on like PS2. Back in the day, I was like a teenager and I was like, this seems really cool. And then I... At the time, I'd never played a point and click, so I was like, wait, I can't even like easily control the character. What's going on here? And then I just didn't play it. Um, and then the third one came out pretty recently, a couple of years ago, didn't it? So I was like, I wanted to play that one. And I think the company at, who did the third one even like contacted me being like, do you want to like feature our game? And I think they gave me a code, but then the reviews were really bad. So I was like, maybe not. And I ended up skipping it. But then this one came out last month and the reviews were really good. So I was like, oh, this is like the perfect time to jump into it. And if we like this, then we can always go back and play the older ones as well. So that's why I was really hopeful to... I really wanted to like play this one so that it maybe opens us up to the franchise. So that's why. So I'm happy that we started it now. We finally did it. I finally am playing a Siberia game after all these years.